Hi everyone, it's Jen Evers coming back with another video and this one's for my scraproom.ning.com. It's another weekly challenge and this week Gina had us making a small purse and I hope, I think I have all the other requirements. I, I keep, I always double check because I'm so worried I'm not going to have them all. So it must have a handle, um, it must have green, it must have uh, cardstock and pattern paper, must have one of the flowers made out of crepe paper that is on one of her tutorials, some kind of wordage of some sort, and there must be some sort of decoration on the inside. So yeah, I think I got it covered. I just displayed, and I don't normally do this, but displayed the things that I used to create this one. I got this really awesome vintage paper pack from the Netherlands from my friend Tamara. Hi Tamara, thanks for the paper, I'm using it. And then, um, so, so most of the pattern paper that you see, actually all of it, the pattern paper came from that. Um, the paper, the shiny purple paper, which looks totally blue in the camera, but it is like a lavender purple. Um, that came from Michael's, I'm sure, because I get most of my paper there, if not from Joann's, if you're looking for it. And the ribbon, I can't remember where I got it from, but I used two colors of Stampin' Up! ink because they matched really well. One of them was certainly celery, and the other one was almost amethyst. And then I just used some of the really inexpensive Michaels Studio G. Um, oh gosh, there it is. It was Studio G ribbon from Michaels. That's exactly where I got it from. And then um, the Michaels Pearl stickers, you get 50 pieces, and these were on sale for 50 cents. So I used a whole bunch of those. Those are really fun. These were also on sale for 50 cents. But there were hardly any left, so I got some pink ones and that was about it. So let me show you the rest of my purse. It turned out pretty cool. This is um, the flower that was required that was made out of crepe paper and I followed her tutorial. And I wasn't sure I really wanted it to be attached to this forever since I'm using this as sort of a retirement card slash gift. Uh, everyone's going to write their sentiments on it and put it in the purse. So little papers are going to go inside. That'll be really cool. And then I also altered the flower into be ta-da! Um, like a you know what that's called. So you can clip it on. Uh, barrette, but you know I'm not so sure she wears that type of thing in her hair. So if she doesn't, she can totally use it as like a brooch on her shirt. She's more of that kind of a lady. She's a very classy secretary type of lady, so. Um, this is another, like, quilled flower I created. I actually hand cut all this little fringy stuff. This came with the paper pack as well, this really cool thing, but I, I had to fussy cut it out. And if you can see the really tiny stamp. Oh, here, I used these really teeny tiny stamps from um, Close to My Heart. This one is called Random Thoughts. D1130 if you're looking for them. They're tall, skinny um, things. They kind of all go together. Some are backgrounds like um, outer layers and well, okay. But they're tall and skinny. But they're really cute. So that's how I made that. So I didn't hand stamp all that around there. So you know it came that way. The purple says for you. And then I stuck on a black cell grate over the top of a tall martini glass. I thought since she was, re she was retiring, that would be really appropriate. Oh yeah. The inside, or the, I mean the back side and the inside we had to show because we had to put papers or something in there. So I used a bunch from the pack that kind of all went together for um, color scheme. Not exactly, but close enough and decorated the inside. The other neat thing that I did, and I want to put the camera down so I can show you, is I took this this part right in here, this strip, I put sticky tack on the top and the bottom and left the middle um, open so that I could put this um, ribbon through. And I glued, when I glued this in, it made this side not able to move, but this side moves so this ribbon comes in and out of here. It's hard to show the whole thing. Here. That comes in and out. So you can actually tighten this all the way up. And then tie it on the side. So that's kind of neat. That's a fun feature. So that's my purse. 
Again, it was um, a weekly scrapbook challenge from my scraproom.ning.com. Come on over if you want to try something out. You know where we're at. Bye-bye!